Well, if you're like me, you've probably heard a lot about this flat plate AGM technology and 12 volt batteries. Not the spiral technology, the flat plate AGM technology. And maybe why it's so important on today's automobiles. So, Mike Holsom from JCI is with us today from Johnson Controls Corporation. Wow, Mike, look at all this stuff. What have you got for us? You talked about the spiral cell AGM battery in the Optima brand, and uh, we also have now the flat plate. And the flat plate's going to give us a lot more options in, in today's cars. So as cars have evolved over the years and our driving habits have changed as well, there's been more demand on, on the battery. So, you know, one, you know, one example is, you know, smartphones. We have all these apps on our smartphones and they're very power draining. Well, the same things in today's cars. We have a lot of computers and sensors and they demand a lot of power and it puts a lot of stress on the battery. Now this one behind you, this van has got tons of electronics in there. Uh, power everything, uh, not to mention the electronics that control the computers and the sensors and the actuators, all drawing power from this vehicle's battery. And even when the vehicle is off, those computers are still on, aren't That's they? That's correct. So th th that is a drain on the electrical system. And then we have this Toyota here, which it looks like a standard automobile, but again, this is a very uh, power demanding car as well. And then you throw in some of the aftermarket plug-in devices we have, like cell phones and navigation systems, and even DVD players. And that adds to the stress on the electrical system. Not to mention today's aftermarket music systems and things that are so popular that people want to add onto their vehicles. Wow, it's no wonder that we need more power and really a better technology. How does it work? Well, we're all familiar with the standard flooded battery where we have free acid in it. And that uses a separator material between the positive and negative plates. It's a microporous uh, piece of material. But in the absorbed glass mat, the AGM battery, we use a material, a poly uh, fiberglass material that absorbs the electrolyte and keeps it suspended. And then those cells are compressed so the, the plates are in constant contact with that moist separator. Together? Like Correct. That. Okay. So the advantage of that gives you is that compression gives the ability of that battery to go through many cycles. So when you have high electrical demand and that battery is constantly in a state of discharge and recharge, that battery is going to give you up to two times more life than a standard battery. Well, I've looked at some TSBs lately that has something to do with monitoring the current or limiting the current while charging some of these flat plate AGM batteries. A uh, Toyota Prius comes to mind as an example. So how are we going to deal with this? Well, uh, in the vehicle, you know, the charging systems have developed, but you know, we've, we've got several chargers out there in the market that, that can do AGM technology. Optima has come out with a, a charger that, one, uses continuous current and continuous voltage, which helps get a higher state of charge into that battery. Uh, one of the nice advantages about AGM batteries is they're very efficient for ch recharging. Yeah, you know, in flooded batteries, typically what we do is we, we charge them as fast as you discharge them. I mean, you don't really worry a whole lot about that. But with um, some of these uh, battery technologies where resistance comes in, we find that a lot of battery chargers can never really get them past that 80% right? You can't get that extra 20% in there. And I guess this is going to help solve it that It really issue. will. Yeah, there's this, this technology uses microprocessors and temperature control. And this is the maintainer that Optima has out now. And they also have a full charger for uh, out as well. So this will not only help you when that battery starts reaching those higher resistance points in the charging cycle, it'll help you get through those and get a higher state of charge but also it'll monitor that temperature so you don't, you don't have problems with overcharging or getting the heat from that overcharge. This is exactly what we've been needing. Uh, can we do it here? Show us how it works. Absolutely. So this battery charger gives us the ability to pick the type of battery technology we're gonna charge. Since today we're using a, a Yellow Top Optima, we're just gonna select the Yellow Top Optima symbol here. And now the, the charger will go into an analysis mode. So it'll check the condition of the battery which will determine the type of charge that the battery requires. Now that the analysis has been completed on the battery, it's now going into the, ch the charging cycle. And you can see at uh, this point the display showing that the battery already hit is at 75% state of charge. So it's going to charge this battery to get it up to 100% uh, up to state of charge. Wow, thanks Mike. I feel so much better about how to service this flat plate AGM technology. 
but what does our future look like? Well, the future is really right now. I mean, we have a lot of power demanding vehicles out there right now, and our driving habits are continuing to evolve. So this is a great upgrade option to, for our customers. But by 2015, start-stop technology will be roughly 27% of all new cars. And that's going, going to continue to grow. Wow, that is great information. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jim. Mike, it's a pleasure having Thank you here. Thank you.